Digi scrap map, finding your way in digital scrapbooking. Digi scrap map, finding your way in digital scrapbooking. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey all, here we are at Digi scrap map, and I'm so excited to have our guest with us here today. And as always, she's hiding behind. Uh, the Digi Scrap Map logo, and I want to introduce to you today Jamie Ryman. Jamie, say hi to everyone. Hi. <laughs> um, go ahead and tell everybody about the site that you own. I own Digi Scrap Drive In. It's a digital scrapbooking site that has a uh, gallery, a forum, a blog, and um, a store. So you can uh, reach it by going to www.digiscrapsdrivein.com. Let me uh, stop for a moment and ask everybody in the chat room, can you hear Jamie okay? Yes, it's all retro, Ginger. Do you like it? It's a 50s theme. Oh, yeah, I love the theme of your site. Um, whenever I go there, I, I see it's very creative. I think you have such a creative mind. Thanks. I, I, I can't take all the credit. It was definitely a team effort in creating that site. Um. Yeah, I, I, it's a unique theme, uh, different than what uh, everybody else has out there. That's really cool. Um, go ahead and tell us a little, wait, before I go on, uh, let's remind everybody that's here with us. Um, how many people are in there? We have 13 people that are not logged in. If you want to ask Jamie questions, um, you're going to be able. You're going to have to log into the chat room. It's a free account with Ustream.com. Go to Ustream with a U. Doc uh, Ustream.com and create a free account. Um, go through the silly captcha thing and. Um, uh, go to your email and click on the link and then you should be able to log on and uh, ask Jamie questions because we love chatting with our viewers. Um, Jamie, go ahead and tell us a little bit about your family and where do you live since this is DigiScrap Map and we're going all over the world. We kind of want to know where everybody lives. I live in the mountains of North Carolina. It's uh, near a town called Hickory. It's a big furniture industrial area. And um, I have a big family. It's um, me and my husband and five kids. The oldest is 17 and the youngest is three. <laughs> That's a lot. Five kids. Yeah. Now, I know Lori, is, she's a digital scrapbooker and she has nine kids. And that's uh, a lot. But I think five's a lot. Um, and you homeschool them, don't you? No. No? I'm not that um, brave. I don't know why I thought you did. Uh, what? I'm doing homeschool for preschool for the four-year-old and ah, the three-year-old. Ah, that's what it is. That's what I was remembering. For the four- and three-year-old, what, what other ages do you have? Holly is 17, and Justin is 16, and Jordan is 11, and Trinity's four, and Caleb's three. And so the older ones really help out with the younger ones, I hope. No. <laughs> no? <laughs> no. The 11-year-old helps out a lot. The 11-year-old does. Mm -hmm. um, I would think once they're 17 and you said 16, yes. uh, that uh, they're, they're not wanting to hang around the house much anymore. They're probably out and right. about. They have their own social networking. <laughs> that doesn't include mom. Yes. That's very typical. Very, very typical. <laughs> and how long have you been married? I have been married for about six years. Six years. Yep. I'm trying to make you a little bigger on the screen. Um, how long have you been scrapbooking? I started scrapbooking probably 
11 years ago and um, was a creative memories consultant for several years and then uh, about four years ago I found digital scrapbooking through one of the creating keepsakes um, events here in Charlotte and when I did I just never looked back I love it uh, so did you start out with the creating keepsakes software I did not know they had software maybe they didn't back then I'm not sure um, the class I took there was for photoshops um, well that's cool that's cool um, uh, so what program do you use? I use um, a couple different programs. I mainly use Photoshop Elements when I do any kind of scrapbooking. I just find that the workspace um, works for me much better than um, working in the creative, I have the whole creative suite. So I use Photoshop also, but I usually use it when I'm doing design or quality checking my products now um, we were talking earlier uh, I th that uh, we have a lot in common and that you don't really see yourself as a designer you're more of a site owner and that you still dabble in designing which I do too I'll, I'll dabble in designing and, and share it uh, but I don't feel like I'm up to par with all those other designers out there uh, just not uh, gifted artistically and so um, you have gifts obviously and you're using them uh, in the digital scrapbooking world by being I guess you're well organized I am not well organized I'm fly by the seat of my pants all the time I work best under pressure and um, I don't think that I could do what I do without the team that I have to help me because I'll forget something or I just have too many things going on at one time usually and so so you're more of a cheerleader yes encourager I, I have great ideas and then I need someone to help me implement them ah you're the ideal lady and then and then you get people to uh, around you to help make them happen yes, yes. there we go we got it that's what your job is <laughs> I think that's great. I think that's great. Um, we have some pictures here to share, uh, as we do always, um, with the Digi Scrap Map. And so we're going to be covering up Jamie a little bit with these things. And um, in fact, let's do that now. Bye, Jamie. Bye. <laughs> You're still here by voice. And. Um, this first one is, I gotta bring it down, your favorite kit in the store. So go ahead and tell us about this. And I'm going to cover up myself on the screen also. That is one of our site um, collaborations. Uh, we call them Flavor of the Month to go along with our 50s theme. And it is called Outback, and it's just a guy's kit. And it goes anywhere from infant baby all the way to papa if you want to. So we truly really wanted to incorporate all elements for guys. And I love, love, love this kit. I love the colors, and there's so many cool elements in it. And I've personally scrapbooked with it a lot. And um, I think it's really important to have a lot of scrappable elements in a kit, and this is just one of my favorites. There is a lot of stuff in this kit. I mean, I don't, it, there's so it's much. It's hard to preview something like that. <laughs> it is. I was going to say, I see so much so many elements that I don't even hardly know where the papers are in this preview. <laughs> I don't know that they're back there. Most of our um, collabs are really big and um, I end up always just doing an elements preview and a paper preview. Oh, it says flavor of the month. I, see, there we go with that theme again. That's great. And uh, I, there's so much good stuff in here that you can find something in here oh look see there's even the music notes to go with all my band layouts that I need and see I could use the drum and the guitar because I have 
boys, oh, and the skateboard, and the hat, those would go right along with my boys. So I think you're right. There's something in this kit that would work for everyone. It looks like a really cool kit. It's just a personal favorite of mine. And the uh, frames have a lot of texture on them. They do. I, it, it is one of my favorites. The um, Pink Ladies, which is our designers, it's again the theme of the 50s. We call our designers Pink Ladies. They um, did a great job on this kit. Okay, our next image is your favorite layout. <laughs> Tell me about this. That is my son Caleb and I actually did that during a speed scrap and like I said before I just I feel like I'm at my best a lot of times when I'm doing something under pressure and I love love that page I love the way it came out. I like that it has this oval frame over it uh, yeah. over a uh, square matted photo combining circles and squares to me sometimes really brings out I mean and then you have a circle behind that uh, you know combining the two shapes and uh, together in a layout always seems to enhance it just right I think and what an adorable photo how did you get him to look down like that with the big eyes I had a friend who is a photographer and she was advertising looking for infants um, did you do selective coloring on the eyes? Um, I was going to say, yes, there you go. I was going to say, I think his eyes are, that's, that, you asked me to pick a favorite technique, and that's also one of my favorite techniques is doing selective coloring, and yes, I just thought it really enhanced um, the page. It's a black and white photo. So, it was, it's just all around a favorite page. I know he's a little guy, but it's a favorite page of mine. I like it too. And this one is your best selling kit. That's our best seller of the collabs that are in the store. I couldn't really pick a best seller from all the designers. Um, Rob, Robin asked how old Caleb is now and he is um, three now. Um, that is called Greatest Expectations. Um, it was a kit that um, we had an idea to do just for women who are expecting. So um, the, the girls, again, came through very well with that kit, just pulling together elements all about um, being pregnant and, and or waiting for adoption. Um, it was just a great kit, and it's one of the biggest sellers that we have. And once again, there's a ton of stuff in here. I love this little one in the center, this lady with the bag. That's, um, I love that picture. It's my sister-in-law drew that for me for this kit. Wow, your sister-in-law, is she a designer then in the store? She is not a designer. I've begged her many times to try and start doing that but she's not she's just a great artist and I called her and I said I need a pregnant lady and I can't find anything out there that's cool and hip and I like and I said can you draw me something and she she drew it and took a picture of it and emailed it to me um, because she didn't even know where her scanner was she had just moved and it came out great I agree I think uh, I would love to have a sister-in-law to draw for me like that <laughs> I know. Anytime I need anything special, I'm like, will you draw this for me? Oh, man. I need a friend. <laughs> Anybody want to be my friend? <laughs> I could use a, uh, somebody that would um, draw like that. And then did she draw this one, too, down here at the bottom? She did it. She just did the girl for me. Yeah, that one, This one's cute, too, but the girl is cute. Okay, well, let me zoom back out. I like the colors too. There's such a wide variety of colors there and they're bright and f cheerful. Here is your favorite technique. You want to tell us about your favorite technique? Clustering. I love to cluster with elements and paper and um, it's something that took me a while to learn how to do. Um, 
but once I figured it out, I lo- I just love it. I just don't know that I can do a page without it now. Um, that's my oldest son uh, on the left there to you guys, and my uncle. And um, that is using um, my favorite kit that I just showed you guys. Um, he is handsome boy. He is. He is. I I like how your clustering is fills up the page. Um, I can't get this to zoom out anymore to make it any more viewable, but you've got some space there and some more space down at the bottom. But so many times the clustering, the elements are so small. Um, and I like that you've left them big and, and, and managed to still get all that clustering on the page. I think that is uh, probably a unique style to you. And I like it. Thanks. I do a little both. I, I do big clustering and little clustering. I really love white space too, so I will cluster, you know, in the corner for some white space. But I, I really like to cluster, period. Um, then we're going to move on. I'm going to, uh, before we do this, I'm going to come back off and let you be on the screen big for a minute. So go ahead and tell us about this big event you have coming up next May. May I'm so excited. We're going to be doing a digital scrapbooking retreat just for digital scrapbookers. And I got the idea when I was at a paper scrapbooking um, retreat and I was kind of hanging back with my laptop and I was thinking why can't digital scrapbookers get together and have just as much fun as all these paper scrappers do. So um, I started researching and found a location that I thought would be perfect and I'm so excited about it. I've got a lot of great things planned and um, I'm just looking to have some fun with some girls. So let's go on here. And well, well I forgot to say at the beginning, I'm going to take you back off for a second before we continue. I forgot all about it. Jamie has, uh, hey, cool, I can put us side by side. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Da, dun, dun. <laughs> um, Jamie has a prize she's going to be giving out. Okay. And um, just for the people here in the chat room, um, uh, we've lost Dawn. Dawn was with us, but we've lost her on uh, voice. She's still in the chat room, though. Um, okay. That's what I was looking at. Um, Jamie's going to give out a prize, and um, what we're going to do, what she asked me to do, is to think of a question at the end of the chat of something that we have talked about and the first person to answer the question at the end of the chat uh, will uh, win one ticket to uh, this retreat and so this was actually a good time to, to uh, bring this up so hopefully everybody here will be paying attention and hopefully you're in uh, the chat room so that you can answer the question um, log into the free Ustream account so that uh, you can uh, be ready when it comes time at the end of the chat. So we're going to um, cover me back up and let Jamie talk about the location. We're going to cover her back up now. We're going to have the retreat in Asheville, North Carolina at the Hilton there. And um, the Hilton is located in the Biltmore Park Square. Um, a lot of you are familiar with the Biltmore. That's the square there. You'll see the theater down on the end. And right there on the corner to the left is where the Hilton is located. So it's almost right diagonally across from the theater. And it's just a great location. There's tons of shopping and um, eating locations in there. There's Barnes and Noble in there with the Starbucks, and um, there's an REI for those outdoor fans who like to go shopping at REI. I love REI, and there's also a YMCA there 
for those who have memberships if you wanted to um, go to YMCA, but the Hilton has ev everything available. They have a great workout facility, and they have the Sparrow Spa, and the Sparrow Spa is yes. um, wonderful. That's one of the bedrooms. Um, all of the ticket rates are double occupancy, and um, that is the spa there. I got to take a tour, and I love, love, love this hotel. It's so retro. I love all the circles and the squares everywhere, and um, everything is right together. So no, like, walking yourself to death to get anywhere. And there's one of the bedrooms, and this is the spa. And do I have any more? There's one, um, a side shot of it, because uh, I think this is the front, and then uh, and then down, these are like the main doors, and then down this way is uh, that street row that you saw in the other video. Looks like a fabulous location. It is. It's not far from downtown Asheville or, I mean, if you came to the retreat, if you wanted to make it, you know, a good weekend and travel to other things, you're more than welcome. We have a very flexible schedule. We're going to be doing um, classes there at the retreat and um, we've got several things um, planned for classes. Um, Sarah Penix is going to be doing a social media workshop where she'll be talking all about doing social media with Twitter, Facebooks, and blogs. And then Michelle McGraw um, with um, Scraps of My Geek Life, she's going to be there. And she's going to be doing some really cool stuff, talking about hybrid classes, um, doing a, um, a project with that. And um, what's going to be really neat is learning how to scrapbook on your iPhone, iPad, iTouch. I didn't even know you could do that, but she is going to teach everybody how to do that. And um, she'll be doing some guest speaking during the regular um, event to the whole uh, group just about um, additional digital scrapbooking tools that you can use. And then Jen and Stan from Scrapper's Workshop are going to come and do a bunch of classes and the photography class and digital scrapbooking classes from advanced to beginner. So I'm excited about that. And then Robin in the chat room, she asks if the classes are going to be at the hotel. The classes are going to be at the hotel. There's one main breakout room that we have everybody in and then there's three additional smaller rooms that will host the classes and I'll be putting up a schedule soon for that. Um, I see we have 27 people here. That's great to have so many logged in. Uh, we always worry that I could share Dawn and I before the show starts. We'll be five minutes before the show starts and nobody will be locked in and then all of a sudden right when the show starts everybody shows up uh, it's good to know that digital scrapbookers are so prompt <laughs> I'm sorry I had to I got sidetracked so <laughs> I know you're still working on uh, getting more people and you're just in the beginning planning stages and you already have all this stuff planned and so this is going to be a great retreat I know Asheville North Carolina is um, just over the Smoky Mountains from uh, what's that city on the other side of the Smoky Mountains? You don't know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Oh, I went there. Yes, you geographically went there and I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm having a brain fart. Um, we and we drove over the mountains and then we saw a sign when we got down to the other side of the mountain that said so far to Asheville, North Carolina. Anyway, it's a beautiful Asheville's beautiful area. It is it's it's beautiful. Uh, and as she said, there's a lot there even if you just want to drive up into the Smoky Mountains after the retreat with your family or something. Uh, it, it's just beautiful and um, and if you love photography, it's a great place for photography, too. If anyone's interested in coming to the event and wants to make it a um, couples event where the husband can go golfing, because there's several really nice golf resorts there, then they just need to contact me via email and let me know, and I can make arrangements for that. 
And where can the information be found for the site, for the, the retreat? You have a special site for it? Yes, it's www.driveinscrapout. The name of the event is Drive In Scrap Out. I'm trying to see if I can get it on my screen, but things are going slow. She has it in the chat room, and I will put it up here shortly. Um, does anybody in the chat room now have some questions for Jamie? I'm trying to do two things at once. I've got it coming up on the screen here in just a minute. There it is. So if you want more information about uh, the retreat, uh, you can just go there uh, to Drive In Scrap Out. I like the name. It goes with your 50s theme, too. So does anybody in the chat room have any questions? Um, let's see. How tight Robin, is... Robin asked if there was going to be free time at the event, and um, I just wanted to say there would be some free time. So the schedule's not going to be really tight. No, I did add uh, an itinerary today to the um, blog if you want to go look at it. And it's, I'm trying to, just if you, I want to make it flexible. Coming in and out, people are going to be doing classes. If you want to go to see a movie, um, just whatever, just flexible. Um, and probably the evening time is going to be flexible. Yes, I mean, I allowed some space in there, and I just don't want anybody to feel like they're going to miss something if they get up and leave. And um, food, what about eating? Um, food is, um, Robin asked again if there's going to be classes at night, and Robin, classes are going to run various times throughout the day, and I'll be posting those, um, those classes um, probably within the next week or two. Um, what did you ask me, honey? Food. Food, yes. There's, um, food is up to each individual person. The retreat price does not include the food, but the, the uh, restaurant there at the hotel is fabulous. And then what's really great is that we're in that square and there's a lot of great places to eat there. I've personally ate at several of them. I love them. And then if you have a car or you want to take a taxi, um, Probably less than two miles down the road is your standard fast food. Um, Doran says that she thinks it'd feel weird bec for her because she wouldn't know anyone there. And I can say um, we had a digital scrapbooking gathering that I planned in St. Louis um, the uh, about a year and a half ago. And I didn't know anybody, and I was really nervous, too. But when I was done, I was very thankful that um, I had met all those people. And uh, I still see them online every now and then. So don't, don't be shy. Just come. <coughs> I don't know why I'm coughing again. <coughs> exactly. I... Um I hope the event's going to be very um, tight-knit. There will be several people at a table. There's going to be no assigned seating, so just find whatever works for you. And some people will know each other, but the great thing about the digital community is that there's so many people online, and um, hopefully that this event will let us meet some of those people in person. And um, so I would say that most people will not know anybody at the event. So come anyway and um, get to meet, you know, some great people face-to-face. -face. I'm hoping to get some designers who want to um, dial in through Skype and host some events, and we can get to know some designers. And um, so I'm hoping that it will be an event where everybody can feel comfortable. <coughs> um, <coughs> why am I coughing all of a sudden? I can't be so to drink. My drink's about gone. Um, uh, Jen says that those people from Australia need to uh, start swimming now <laughs> <laughs> and they can make it for the retreat <laughs> and um, somebody else asked uh, 
they mentioned you might have like a get to know you thing planned for Thursday night. Yes, we're going to have a um, get to know you party at six o'clock on Thursday night. So everyone come in and eat some food and have some drinks and just get to know everybody. And then uh, we're going to kick it off at ten o'clock with a speed scrap. <laughs> Eileen says there's too many sharks between there and here for her. <laughs> Uh, that's pretty funny um carrie wants to know about wine yeah i'm a wine drinker now if you all haven't known is uh maybe carrie's been reading my blog <laughs> but um is there wine allowed to each his own i mean the hotel would allow it if you brought it in or i don't know that you could bring in your own wine but they but I will have snacks and stuff available, and I'm sure that you can order. Oh, Carrie was wondering if that's what I was drinking. <laughs> no, no. This was a glass of iced tea. <laughs> it's gone now. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> um, I have a goblet. This is Walmart special drinking goblet just for tea. My wine glasses are different. I know it looks like a wine glass, but it's not. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> I'm not a lush, I promise. <laughs> I promise, but I do like to sip wine and taste it and stuff. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I see we have uh, a lot more people logged in. Um, let, we're opening it up to questions. Uh, we love to talk with people in the chat room, so please just uh, ask anything you want of Jamie in the chat room. I want to say that DigiScrap Strive is going to be celebrating one year next month, and we're so Yay. excited about it. And we're going to have a big old Shing Ding event in September. I'm excited about it. What kind of Shing Dings are you going to be having? Oh, Jewel, help me out. We're going to be doing a blog hop, and we're going to be um, having some challenges. Scavenger hunt. Thank you, Jewel. Jewel is um, is my good. <laughs> Love that, honey. Well, Jewel you said blog hop. I thought it worked. Didn't it work? <laughs> yes. Um, the frog is hopping. Go on. Love speed scraps um, and some great sales. Most importantly, great sales. Great sales. We love sales, and we just saw how uh, I have to get that off your face. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> come on, get off. Um, <laughs> we just saw how great looking your kits are. So yes, sales are always a good thing. Uh, a whole year. So that's exciting. How long, it is exciting. How long did it take you to set up your site before it went live? Oh, probably an embarrassing amount of time. Um, oh, no, I shouldn't have asked. In September. It was at least five months. Well, I will admit that it took me a very long time. Probably um, I started in September and didn't open live till January, so it took me as long, too. Uh, I don't think... Uh, the people out there realize what it takes to put in to put, you know, getting these sites up and going. I love that you're all laughing in the chat room. <laughs> They're probably laughing because they all know how long it took us to get open. So, ask some questions of, of Jamie in the chat room. We have 14 people logged in and 11 guests. If you're a guest, you need to try to log into a free Ustream account. The fun part of this is that the people in the chat room uh, can actually uh, communicate live with our guests. So we really welcome your questions. Carrie asks, why did you decide to own a site? I didn't decide to own a site. It just kind of happened. Um, did you scrap driving came about when several ladies got together who were all a part of a site that closed. And um, Jen says, "I'm am I insane? That is true. That is true. Um, 
anyway, we all decided that we did not want to be scattered about the digital community, and we wanted to have a home feel. So that's whenever the birth of DigiScrap Striving came about was when several of us got together and decided that we wanted that homey feel of a site. And um, so it's just all about having fun and loving digital scrapbooking and everyone feeling welcome and um, <laughs> just being a site where people can come and do lots of challenges. We have a ton of challenges. Just Med says, I'm laughing. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at the chat room. She says, it it takes a truly insane person to own a site. <laughs> and Ginger, who also owns a site, says, word. <laughs> well, Ginger oh. knows uh, for sure. You, It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Yes. And, really uh, cannot do it without my team. We... Uh, we hope to have Ginger on soon. Um, I know she has said yes, but uh, she has to buy a webcam yet. So she has never been on a webcam, I'm assuming. But she is in the works for down the road. And we're glad to have her here. <laughs> she says, anyone got a free one? If you, it's, We can get Ginger on DigiScrap Map if somebody bails her a webcam. <laughs> Um, yeah, Ginger's probably struggling because she doesn't have time to go out and find a, web, a webcam because she's working all the time like I am. Exactly, exactly. Um, so, uh, what is your favorite challenge, Ginger asks? Um, I really love the scrap lift challenges. Um, I, I love getting inspiration from other pages, and more importantly, I love to see everyone's take on, you know, what their view is of that page, what inspires them to create. So that's one of my favorite challenges. Um, do you ever do hybrid? Never. Never. Um, so you're not into crafts a whole lot? You like the digital computer concept? Better. I am. I am a gadget queen. I'm all about <laughs> electronics. Yes, uh, you and me both. <laughs> um. So, uh, let's see. What else can we ask you? What about your favorite colors? What do you like to? Uh, well, here before we go there, Ginger. Before this, the uh, chat room goes by too fast. Ginger wants to know what your favorite app is. Do you? What kind of phone do you have? I have the Blackberry Tour, and um, I I do find myself downloading a bunch of junk for my tour. But uh, you know, if if I, if I see it, I like it. I'll try it. Um, my favorite app, like on the computer or what, Ginger? I think she was talking cell phone because we were saying techie. But answer it either way. Um, I love Firefox, and I am a big apps fan for Firefox, and I have several that I absolutely love and um, for add-ons, and I guess probably one of my favorites is, let's see. I like Colorzilla because when you do design, sometimes you might want to pull a color from something on the computer, and it's a little eyedropper that you can use in Firefox that gives you the um, color of something, and if you um, do any kind of web design, block design, whatever, um, Firebug is also a really good app that I use a lot. Um. Ginger, I can help you answer my question. See, I keep my iPhone with me 24-7. It never leaves my site. And since I have the new, I never know where to go. The new, um, which way do I go this way? I don't know if you can see them. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is my um, most used uh, folder. That's the word I'm looking for. And I have my mail in there and my Facebook, of course. But my favorite apps, other than that and the photos, um, 
are mobile photos. It's called mobile photos because I can I use it to upload to Flickr and then it is easily tweeted from there so I'm constantly uploading photos just to tweet them um, and in fact uh, if you've been watching my tweets in the last couple days uh, my husband's gotten in on a kick uh, the guy who said he would never ever text message um, he texts me all the time but I tell you it, it's helped our marriage iPhones can help your marriage texting can help your marriage because he texts me all day long we both work long hours but we can stay connected but anyway he leaves for work before I do and when he leaves for work every morning as he walks by the flowers in the front yard he snaps a photo of the flower of a flower with his phone and then he sends it to me by text mail and says good morning and so when I wake up uh, there it is on my phone so I I <laughs> I've been trying to find ways, you know, he's a guy, he doesn't like flowers, so I can't send him virtual flowers, so I've been trying to find creative ways, and, and you can go to my Flickr account and see them, because I've been sharing them. I sent him virtual chocolate, I took photos of an M&M's, and then I sent him virtual coffee one day <laughs> back. I took a picture, I don't drink coffee, but I took a picture of a co-worker's coffee cup, and then uh, today, I, uh, since I couldn't find any string at work, I tied my two fingers together with a rubber band and took a picture of it, and I sent him a virtual hug. Aww. <laughs> so we're having fun. See, so iPhones are good for marriage. But, but my other two favorite apps are called um, Grocery G, which is... Um, uh, a shopping list and um, the list is maintained online so immediately as you're entering on your list the it goes up online and then as soon as your or anybody else who's signed into that account uh, basically your husband um, opens up his app or or it also has push it'll come up and show you know that you have things to buy um, so I can tell my husband from anywhere immediately what things I want him to run to the store to after work to uh, get for me and it shows up on his phone but we will sit there in the living room and make our ship shopping list on our cell phone and I'll send my husband to the store and while he's shopping and he's sitting there marking off put that in the cart putting that in the cart I'm adding things <laughs> and it's showing up on his phone in the store so uh, yeah we really really love that app <laughs> and um, the third app which I just found that I, I'm now thoroughly addicted to is called to do and it's a um, I've got it so it syncs with my outlook to do list uh, my outlook tasks and um, I'm absolutely loving it and I'm beginning to rely on it and so those are my three favorite now I'm done talking about me we have to get back to <laughs> Let's get back to her. Um, on the BlackBerry, I have something called Point. It's P-O-Y-N-T. And I really love the application. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> it does, um, it's just, you know, it, it does GPS locating for anything that I'm looking for faster and easier than any application I've used before. Um the iPhones have one that comes with it called uh, Maps that does the GPS. Yeah. <laughs> um, Evernote. Pughugger su suggests Evernote, and I know a lot of people love Evernote, and I downloaded it once, and I, I just, I never had time to, yes, no, I didn't mean Toodle Do. There is a Toodle Do. The one I have is T O D O. And I went out and investigated them all, and TODO worked much better. I actually played with them all. Um, but what was I saying? Plug, pug hugger. Oh, she must own a pug. My brother owns pugs. A pug hugger talks about Evernote, and I know a lot of people love Evernote. It's free, uh, and I had downloaded it, and I never. Um, got a chance to start really playing with it and learning it before I got um, the uh, what's it called? Let me highlight it. 
Microsoft Office OneNote, OneNote, and I use OneNote a lot. I use it for everything, but it's the same um, concept as Evernote. Wh where do you keep your things organized, Jamie? I use Outlook um, for everything. And then, like I said, I'm a little gadget person with Firefox, and Firefox has a... Um, add-on called Reminder Fox, and I love that thing. I can set up all kinds of stuff in it, and just every time I open um, a browser, it reminds me of things that I need to do. It's just like a quick, you know, oh, I can't forget to do that today, and I can just add it in there. So, I don't, I'm not a huge Firefox user. I mean, I do use it uh, daily, but not as much as I do Internet Explorer. Um, uh, actually, uh, you want to know a secret? <laughs> the reason I use Firefox is that I can stay in logged into some sites <laughs> with two different accounts without having to log back in. I um, do that too. <laughs> so I'm in. I have it. Like I, I have a my church website is actually a blogger account, and so I usually will log in there. Um, to access that blogger account <laughs> so I don't have to keep logging and it has a YouTube account also and then I uh, do the Hummies World all in Internet Explorer <laughs> just similar things but what were we talking about oh I was going to ask you a question I don't know a lot about Firefox so how does it back up that does it keep it stored online your reminders so if your computer crashes it comes right back it's actually in your um, browser. So when you open your browser up, um, I have like a little, it looks like a, you know, like you would tie a string around your finger. It's like a little um, bow in the corner, and I just click on it. But another really cool add on is, um, I think it's called um, Morning Cup of Coffee. And it, if you have several sites that you visit daily or like on a schedule, you can put them in there and just when you when you open your browser you just click on your coffee cup and it opens all the sites for you and it does it on a schedule so if I go to this site on Monday and this site on Tuesday I can put everything in the schedule there okay maybe I'm a little organized but not not too much mm -hmm. you gotta put Hummies World on there <laughs> I'm totally there but that sounds really cool. I've never played with that one. I like the coffee cup concept. And now they're all coming up. I can't follow you all fast enough. Um, Google, Jen says Google Calendar has a good iPhone app. Uh, a good add-on is the, Carrie says a good add-on is the skin. So you can look at Robert Pattinson, Pat Pattinson all day. Who's Robert Pattinson? Am I living in a hole over here? You know, Hummies World and um, a Gen site uh, also have those skins, so you could wear us in Firefox too. You should look for it. Look for skins. And, look for skins and search digital scrapbooking, and you'll see both of us. How about that? <laughs> Um, Janet says she has her calendar synced with my work outlook account I do too my iPhone um, calendar here syncs with outlook um, of course I can read my emails uh, and the notes are also synced on my iPhone but uh, for whatever reason um, Apple does not want your tasks to sync but the to do that I was talking about which I recently learned about and haven't had time to blog about it um, will sync to your Outlook tasks um, it won't sync unless your computer is on uh, if I'm sitting down right here right now with my computer on it will sync I just open up the app and it syncs automatically um, but when I go away from my computer and the little bubble screen saver comes on, um, it won't sync anymore. So I could call my husband and say, go jiggle my mouse and then sync it from wherever I'm at. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. I mostly, you know, sync it once a day in the morning when I'm sitting here at my computer.
Melly, welcome. I see you finally made it in. That's great. Um, oh, Twilight. The guy we were talking about is on Twilight, and I don't watch that a whole lot, so... Edward, yeah, I knew Edward was on Twilight. Robert's on Twilight, too? <laughs> Robin in Bama? Why is she in Bama? She says she can almost dial her phone. <laughs> Somebody needs to go over there and edumacate her. Because my husband can do it, and he's, he's set up and down. I won't ever do it. Goodbye, Jen. I see you. I'm trying to catch up in the chat room. Um, okay, honey, do we want to um, give our guests, we have how many guests we have, like seven, a chance to log in before we do a um, giveaway? Yeah, there's 11 guests not logged in. And um, Bama equals Alabama. Uh, goodbye, Eileen. I'm so glad you could make it here. Um, if you want to log in uh, and have a chance to win a ticket uh, to the retreat uh, by answering a question that I have no idea what I'm going to ask yet, <laughs> something that we've talked about today during the chat, um, you can... Uh, win a free ticket so go to ustream.com that's you like the letter u not y-o-u but you uh, stream.com make a free account you can log in and be able to talk in the chat room Don put a link there in the chat room for you to go to Don um, twittered me a little while on my phone yes I saw you Don she's having internet trouble but I'm glad to see she's back um, what else were we going to talk about? Uh, I could talk about more iPhone apps. Does anybody? <laughs> I could talk about them forever. We should have a show just about apps. Does anybody? Do you scrapbook on your iPhone coming? There is that program, and I don't have it on here anymore. I was on the uh, team that uh, te uh, the beta testing team. And actually somewhere on my blog, if you search for it, if I could remember the name of it right now, <coughs> I did a whole video that shows you how it works. It's, it's kind of cool. <coughs> um, and uh, <coughs> another app that I use a lot is the Photoshop Express one. Does anybody have that one? Uh, I always go in and change the exposure using the Photoshop Express before I upload my iPhone photos. Ginger wants to know what hobbies I have outside of scrapbooking. What hobbies do you have outside of scrapbooking? I like to hike. live in the mountain area, so my husband can go hiking quite a bit. And, um, do you hike with your camera? Yes. Yes. Do you have a, yeah. what kind of camera do you have? I have a, um, a Kodak. Jill probably knows what kind of camera I have more than I do. I have a Kodak Easy Share, Easy Share camera, and it's in the Z series. I just can't remember what the, what the, um, numbers are but it's a point and shoot and I love it um, it's got a great lens on it and it takes great pictures I love it well, how big is it see I have a Canon and when I go hiking I love to hike too see I need to come visit you and go hiking together with you like this it's not big at all no. and um, I, I take it everywhere with me I have an Olympus that we take when we go um, Um, to the beach or um, we go snorkeling we go to Mexico every year we go snorkeling and I have an Olympus that goes underwater that we love oh, to use that would be so cool um, so you've scrapped layouts with the, those photos we might go to your gallery and see them um, 
I now have some of us scuba diving, but I don't know that I have any of the underwater shots done. I know I have some of me and my scuba gear. I don't know if I want to share that. <laughs> I bet and you look good. In. On. Um, so that's cool. That's something I've never done. I would love to do go uh, scuba diving. Let me see if I can find a picture. Everyone says they want to see. I don't know what this is going to do. Hopefully, oh no, that won't work. I need to find something different. I was going to bring up something fun. Are you putting faces on me? Honey? No, I was trying to find an underwater theme and it was going to come up as a background and I can't do that. Oh, here it is. I've got a picture. Hold on, I'll show you. Well, but you have to send it to me somehow, right? Off the link. I'll put it in the chat room. Can you get it from the chat room? Yes, that's the best place for me. I can't believe y'all convinced me to share this. Ginger wants to know if you do geocaching. I really want to do geocaching. I'm so glad she asked that. I found it not long ago. I'm so excited about doing that. We do have handheld GPSs, so um, we're definitely going to do that. Ginger, do you do geocaching? Boy, I'm so far behind in the chat room. Did you see the link I posted, honey? I'm getting down there. <laughs> I'm scrolling down. I was trying to read anything to see if I'd missed any questions. I'm getting there, and I can uh, cover you up on the screen in just a minute and uh, show that. Oh, this is great. Let me do my little techie stuff here. See how this is going to come. There we are. Uh scroll down a little bit ha, that's great here let me get back to my other screen and make it bigger for everybody this takes skill here what am I doing it's not getting bigger I'm on the wrong screen I'm on the wrong screen okay still not getting bigger I don't know what I'm doing wrong Oh, I'm on the wrong uh, thing. Because I was trying to put up something fun. No, that's still not working. But we're stuck. But you can see it there. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't make it bigger right now. There seems to be... Oh, I know. There, now I got it. There we go. So are these, these two kids look so alike. Are these just two? <laughs> that's me and my husband. Oh, that's you and your husband. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you and your husband look alike. <laughs> um, I don't know if I can zoom in. I can't zoom in anymore. So which one's you? I'm on the bottom. You're on the bottom. Okay. And then this one on the top, are you on the left or you're on the right? Well, if you hover your mouse back over me, um, I'm on the left. That's my husband. You have your mouse over. Okay, you're on the left. How fun. I can't believe I can't tell you two apart. Now I want to see what your husband looks like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll show you one more picture. Um... I do think that we um, favor each other. If I was as thin as he is, that would be nice. Oh, um, we have that same problem here. <laughs> he can just eat meat, meat, and um, never gain a pound. And okay, I got to get back to the chat room where your link is. Oh, I'm getting ready to link you up again.
Did that work? Hold on. Ginger says you should plan a quick geocaching at the retreat. I agree, Ginger. Um, I'm sure I'll be doing nothing at the retreat, though. Robin says there's a great college near Asheville that has the best hiking trails. There is great hiking over in Asheville. <laughs> Thanks, Carrie. I appreciate it. She says ev maybe everyone in masks looks the same. She... Thanks for digging me out of my hole that I dug myself in, Carrie. <laughs> okay, there's the link. <laughs> um, and it is coming up on my screen. Oh, there he is. You're right. He does favor you. And here is a layout with her husband. And what's his name? First name? Mike. Mike. Michael. Michael. I like all the the uh, stuff at the bottom, uh, the text, the way you've done it down there. I did that for a competition somewhere, no tellings, but we had to create, somebody may know when I say this, but how had to create a trading card. Okay, it's time to give away the prize. We are about at an hour. Um, of our show and I think we've had a lot of great conversation of course she started saying the word techie and uh, <laughs> that really um, threw me so I have to think of a question um, something that we talked about during the show do I go early in the show Christy is letting us know artist trading card is an ATC yes it was ADSR Christy's right. It was at uh, the amazing digital scrapbooking race that um, she had to create that. And we all love that. When is the next one coming up? Do you know? Anybody know? When's the next ADSR? Isn't it twice a year? Or once Thanks a year? So. I thought it was twice a year. They say, no idea. It's once a year, Christy says. Even if you don't participate, I love following the people. <laughs> you follow them all over the digi world. Uh, wouldn't it be fun to have a digi scrap map wherever they go each week? <sighs> I think I should. I forgot her name over there um, at Natural Whatever Scrapbooking Designs is the site. What's the name of the site? Natural something. N-D-I-S-B. I know that. Teresa, yes. Oh, Maybe I should talk to Teresa and try to coordinate that. That'd be kind of fun, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. We could be go wherever. Natural designs in digital in scrap natural designs in scrapbooking. Thank you, Janet. <laughs> I need you all. Um now, back to the question. Somebody wants to get a ticket. I know you all do. Um, drum roll. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. I wonder if I've got one while I think of a question. Um, I don't think I have a drum roll. Uh, Robin wants to win the ticket really bad. Wanted, dead or alive, that won't work. I was thinking we, we might come up and say <laughs> wanted. Uh, oh, here, here, this might work. Water, I got the water for the scuba diving. Scuba diving. I was trying to find it. I really was. <laughs> How cute. <laughs> I was drowning. Um, as I continue to drown, I'm thinking of a question. Um, okay, we'll go from kind of later on in the chat and something easy. Uh, what kind, this is something kind of totally unrelated. No, I, do I need to do something more scrapbooking related? I have to think Doesn't matter. Just anything thing we talked about. Okay. Uh, what kind of phone does? Is this a good question? 
Yeah, it's a good question. Okay, what kind of phone does Jamie own? Were you paying attention? Nobody has the right answer yet. Aha, Heidi, 1472. Heidi, yay! Heidi wins. Heidi, 1472 wins. Congratulations. A Blackberry. The answer was a Blackberry. Blackberry tour. Blackberry tour, yes. Yeah, she even got the tour part. She was on the ball there. Heidi is such the winner. She wins all the time on Digi Scratch Drive-In. She's a great player. So um, take a bow, Heidi. Or not, is it? <laughs> Heidi, what's her name? <laughs> I've lost it. What's our winner's name? Heidi, 1472. Heidi, 14. Take a bow. I thought I was saying the wrong name. <laughs> You're welcome, Heidi. And Heidi, you know how to get in touch with me. Yes, she already knows how to get in touch with you. And so, um, congratulations. There's your star for winning. <laughs> that was fun. And it yes, didn't take her very everybody. long. Uh, any more last-minute questions uh, before we close? I've had fun chatting with you, Jamie. You too, honey. And I think after everybody sees this, they're going to want to come uh, spend some time with you in Asheville, North Carolina. You, Ginger said it was nice to meet you, me. It's nice to meet you too, Ginger. Um, I hope that everyone will come out. Um, we've got only 70 slots available, so um, I think they'll start filling up fast once I get everything um, scheduled out on there. And Carrie reminds us, um, come hang out at the Digi Scrap Drive-In also, which is the site that Jamie owns. Yeah, lots of great stuff coming up for September. Um, birthday bash, one year yeah. old. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and end the chat, and we'll still be able to be seen. Uh, we can uh, do impromptu chatting after I stop recording. But um, as soon as I stop recording, if you've missed any of the beginning of this show, you can see it immediately on um, the All About tab at digiscrapmap.com. And Digiscrapmap is also um, on uh, iTunes. There, it's as a podcast, so I'll put get it up on the podcast as soon as possible, so, too. So, you know, those iPhones we all talked about, you can watch it on there um, from anywhere that you're at. And so uh, go ahead and say goodbye, Jamie. Bye. <laughs>